What are the dangers of backbiting and gossip mongering during the month of Ramadan? One of the major sins in Islam, it is slandering and backbiting. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Humza, chapter number 104, verse number one, وَيْلُلِّ كُلِّ هُمَزَةِ الْلُمَزَةِ Vote to every kind of backbiter and slanderer. That you have to woe to everyone who backbites and slanders. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 12, that avoid suspicion, because sometimes suspicion is a sin. Do not speak ill about anyone behind the back. Are you ready to eat the meat of your dead brother? And Allah continues and saying that, nay, you would abhor it. Here Allah gives the example that a person who backbites, it is as though he is eating his own brother. Now eating the meat of your own brother is haram. And further it says, eating dead meat. Eating dead meat is also haram. So if you backbite, you're committing a double sin. Not only eating the meat of your brother, eating the flesh of your dead brother. So it is a very grave sin. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number four, hadith number 6265, where Prophet Muhammad asked the sahabas that, do you know what is backbiting? They say that the messenger of Allah knows the best. So Prophet Muhammad says that if a person speaks about somebody else behind his back, which he would not have liked, that is called as backbiting. Speaking about somebody behind his back, which the person would not like is called as backbiting. So one of the Saba, he asked that, O oh Prophet, what if the thing I've spoken is the truth or the fault which I mentioned does exist in the person? So the Prophet said that if what you've spoken is the truth and the fault does exist, it is called as backbiting. Otherwise, it's called as slandering. So backbiting is a grave sin. There's another Sahih Hadith mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, Rome number three, in the Book of Manners, Hadith number 4857. We have Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the wife of the Prophet. She speaks about Safiya and says that she is such a such thing, meaning she is short-statured. The Prophet immediately says that what you have said, if your words were mixed in the sea, it would spoil the full sea. Further, it's mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number three, in the book of Manners, Hadith number 4860, where it's mentioned, Anas may Allah be pleased with him. He says that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, when he was taken up to heaven, that he saw some people whose nails were made of copper and they were scratching their faces and their breast. And when he asked that, who are these people? So the reply was, these are the people who backbited. Indicating that backbiting is a grave sin. And it is one of the major sins which people should abstain from. And many of us, they do it unknowingly not realizing that it's a grave sin, we should abstain from it. And the Prophet also said, it's mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, volume number eight, in the Book of Manners, Hadith number 6056, a rumor monger, he shall not enter paradise. So these hadiths we come to know that we have to be careful, we should guard our tongue, especially from backbiting and gossip mongering.